there's probably a world where self-aware Richard should understand that it is giga cringe to farm arguments for content and then archive and screenshot every single argument you have on the internet and then turn it into YouTube comment content. But it's time for another episode of You Speak Your Brains, brought to you by NordVPN. If you get a VPN, you might be able to avoid stupid people on the internet. Who really knows? But go to nordvpn.com slash RLS to take advantage of that. So, you speak your brains. Well, these are kind of old because uh, I went on holiday. I started collating all of this stuff before I went away. Uh, like, I did the... This, this is pre-major. I did, like, the major and then uh, obviously went on, like, uh, to, around the world for, like, three weeks. So, all told, I was gone for about, like, seven weeks. So, some of this is like super old you might not even remember the original videos or like the stuff um you know that that it that it pertains to so i will provide context for all of it but i'm gonna start strong right i'm going to start very very strong nip right i talked about what nip were doing as a strategy and i've been very critical about nip as a cs team uh, if you don't know their sort of general manager came out didn't they and said listen our aim is to be competitive by 2025 we're sort of just writing off 2024 then they essentially disbanded the team then they uh put in i mean first of all it wasn't even a complete coherent roster and they put in some academy players and now they're swapping shit in and out and blah 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 and so, obviously, like, I made a video about it. You know, I talk about things that are happening in the scene. And I basically said that after their performance at the RMR, complete with the whole, well, oh, well, we'll get it right in a year. That was cringe and pathetic and uh, not what you should be saying to the fans. I mean, look, NIP has been a terrible organization for a long, long time. Terribly run, terrible staff, uh, the way they've denigrated the legendary team, their reputation, their legacy. And I sort of have a little bit of sympathy for NIP fans. A lot of them might be glory supporting shit houses, but I will say, you know, like you haven't you've been done dirty by the people running NIP and now to just tell you to your face, well our team's gonna be dog shit for a year, but come on this journey and vibes and all that other stuff they fucking said. Yeah, you should be a bit pissed off about it. So anyway, I did a video and I tweeted out the video as I don't really argue with people on Twitter. I do it occasionally if I'm taking a really big shit or if I'm on a train or in a plane or you know, something like that. Right, it's just a waste of time. But I've got time to waste in those moments because I can't do anything meaningful. And so, anyway, I went on Twitter and I tweeted it out. Right, and so a Nip fan uh, got got at me. Right, and as I said, this is going to be a classic. A classic, you speak your all-time great, you speak your brains, right? Today's video, Nip's pathetic performance at the RMR leads to the team disbanding. General manager rights of 2024 as they run academy players. Uh, rights off, that should have said. Typo there. Someone's going to get triggered in the chat. Uh, dog shit PR statement says, how do you do, fellow kids? Then this user comes in. Love how homeboy posts this after Nip signs exist. What do you mean, team disbanding? I said, the team literally disbanded and they're entering academy players in tournaments. Are you suffering from brain death? Bit mean. I hadn't had my fucking epiphany at that point, you know, so. Uh, laughing my ass off? No. But I think you might be. It's called stand-ins, bud. Rez and Alex are very much still signed onto the main roster. Exist is very much the new coach of the main roster. Academy players filling in is not unheard of. Can't believe I have to tell you that. And so I asked, did the team, which is made up of five players, disband? Yes or no? And he said, no. And you go, all right, well, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. You had a 50-50 chance. So try again, because there's only one answer to this. Try answering this question. Does NAP have the same five players on the roster, a.k.a. a team, it did going into the RMR? Having benched players does not mean that the team is disbanded, though. Let's do a thought exercise. One of these teams is actually disbanded. The other one is very much still alive. Are you able to spot the difference, Richard? Try again. Is the team comprised of five players the same, or has it, the team, broke apart in some way? You lost points for not knowing the difference between an organization and a team, by the way. But I'm sure you can get there if you just answer 
The very simple question, right? Let's see how he answers it. Richard, the team still exists. The fact you don't know what disbanding means is not my fault. Laughing my ass off, right? Is the team an entity comprised of five players, the same as it was going into the RMR? For help, you brought up the dictionary definition. So I will include it here for you. And then I link to the Cambridge Dictionary. Does that group of players, parentheses, the team, still exist, yes or no? And you can see there, the Cambridge Dictionary definition of disband, first definition, to stop being a group, second, to stop being a group, third, of a group, to stop. <laughs> right, pretty fucking clear on that one. So because Vitality dropped Dupree after the Paris Major, the Vitality roster disbanded. Because that's the logic you're trying to sell me. I said, I don't think you're ready to get into discussions about the nature of how much one player contributes to the essential being of a team. Did the majority of the NIP team leave or get dropped? Yes or no? Yes, they did. That's what I've been saying the whole time. You can see previously hadn't said that the whole time and had actively denied that anyone had been dropped benches and standings was what were happening so okay all right good but progress right we're making progress let's hope there's not going to be a weird backslide or anything like that because that would be terrible right i'm surprised you haven't blocked my yet like you do with every other person that questions your validity as a reporter in the slightest because we as we all now kids True freedom of speech is solid reporters blocking every person that doesn't agree with them. So as you can see here, the fact that he invoked the dictionary and the dictionary proved him wrong, he in decided instead to have a mental health episode. And, you know, it's sad when it happens, but He's just gone to pieces there, hasn't he? I said, I'll do that at the end, because you're clearly educationally subnormal, and as such, I'll have no need to interact with you or your opinion beyond this. You avoided the last question. Does the CS team for NIP have the same group of players as it did going into the RMR? It doesn't, but that doesn't mean the team fully disbanded. That's all I'm saying. Hold on, getting ahead of yourself. You invoke the dictionary. You have now admitted that the group of players has changed <laughs> right we all remember the definition there it is again what does that say copy and paste it if you're struggling to read i can read what it says richie but i can also do the basic mental math that too still makes a group if part of the group leaves it doesn't mean that the rest of the group suddenly stops existing okay but a cs team is made up of five players is that group of five players the same as it was going into the rmr yes or no you're right on the edge of a breakthrough unfortunately he didn't want to make the breakthrough and so what we got was this I've started a timer. This is what he tweeted out to his followers. How long until Richard Lewis blocks me? By the way, Rich, if you ever want to hop in a call and have an adult conversation about the state of NIP, then I'd love to. I think it's no secret that NIP doesn't currently, oh, sorry, doesn't necessarily curry your favor. And I'm curious where that sentiment comes from. Yeah, all right then. Mr. Fucking argue about the definition, of the literal definition of disband. For no reason whatsoever, you could have just looked at the tweet and got about your day, right? Let's hop on a call together, mate. You're you, a fucking brainlet, and me. Let's hop on a call and have a talk. I'm, be, mate, I can't wait. Fucking sign me up for that. Fucking 555, five, five, I'm a fucking brainlet. Sign me up. Give me a subscription. I can't wait to hear what drivel is going to tumble out of the mouth in your fucking face i can't wait i can't wait anyway so i just told him there's no time needed it'll be at the end of the conversation you keep avoiding the last question i asked is the cs team for nip comprised of the same group of players as it was going into the rmr and then what he did 
was he deleted all of his tweets and I blocked him. <laughs> it's insane. I, I don't even know what, what, like, I don't even know what has to be going wrong in your life to be like, oh, Richard's saying that Nip has essentially disbanded the core of their team using the conventional and literal definition of the word disband. This doesn't sit right with me. I had an interaction with a bigot on YouTube, uh, so apologies if this uh, uh, comment is offensive for anyone. Uh, but it starts out strong. You'll all appreciate this one, guys. So... Here it is. I'll make it big. All right, and by the way, remember, this is a comment replying to PGL Copenhagen major match recap, right? I just got banned for stating facts on your channel, and some femboys got offended and banned me. When will you stop, femboys? When are you going to stop? This chat is for everyone, femboys, right? And I'm sick of you with your fucking stripy socks and your maid outfits and just delightful stick thin legs and arms bullying people i just want to come into my chat and talk about cold hard facts i'm on to you femboys soon as i've done taking down saudi i'm coming for y'all next because the power imbalance is fucking mental so anyway uh, i just got banned for stating facts on your channel. He's been fact maxing. And some femboys got offended and banned me. Here is a conclusion of lots of studies with sources. And he links an outdated 1992 study. The likeliness of pedophilia in gay men is far greater than with heterosexual men. This doesn't mean that they will be more likely to actually commit the crime. But I never said that on your channel. I merely pointed out the stats obtained by the studies. But I was banned before I could list the sources. For a channel like yours, I would expect at least some ratio and honesty about it. Also, I didn't say this out of nowhere. It was brought up by Richard himself, claiming this was bullshit. So I wanted to present facts and data to have an honest conversation about this. But woke delusions are greater than reality. What else is new? And like I said, I expect this on any other channel, but Richard prides himself on digging for the truth. Well, here, here I tried to present it with data and it resulted in a ban. So I argued with him for some distance, and I don't have those comments, but I'll just tell you what he linked. He linked a study from 1992, which was basically outdated, not just outdated, it was widely regarded under peer review to have problems with the data set because the fluctuations were just all over the place. And if you go and look at a lot of studies for this uh, topic, it's quite instructive about how, you know, widespread homophobia was there was a lot of studies conducted across the 80s and 90s about whether gay people were more likely to inappro be inappropriate with children ultimately the ones that are scientifically robust have all arrived at the conclusion that the statistical percentage of pedophiles relative to sexual orientation is about the same across uh, the sexual orientation or some even had heterosexuals going more so anyway the study he linked was like yeah like 1992 and it was trash and it was garbage and i linked him to a number of studies that disproved what he said and he didn't like those studies funnily enough he says they were what they were they were woke studies you see they were done by the woke institute and he seemed very firm uh it, it seemed very important to him that the facts were his facts, not any other fact that might contradict his facts. So I won't bore you with the full one on that one, but I, just the first comment is gold because he's straight in there with the uh, with the the evil femme boys. I had a vac cell as well. Obviously, you know now I can't put a video out. What I left out of the bit about the fucking Reddit response to the Substack honeypot. What I left out of that, by the way, was there was a fucking another video on the front page, Slava Smooth Craney, and a nutcase went into that and fucking started talking about cheating and how I was a Westoid. Right. Are we just going to forget the fact that Kaylee, a pro player in CSGO, right? Now, remember, Kaylee got VAC banned in 2014, right? So we're talking... 
top. It's really weird, isn't it? It's like, Richard, you don't even play the game. You don't know what it's like now. You're a boomer, and you don't know what it's like. Uh, but you're just thinking about the good old days. Now, let me tell you how I know there's a cheating problem by using an example from fucking 10 years ago. It's great. I, lo I love the Vaxels. Are we just going to forget about the fact that Kaylee, a pro, a, a pro player in CSGO, got Vac banned? Or during that same time period, Flusher had all those sus clips. Like, that did happen, and we got to acknowledge why that happened. And it's pretty obvious that Vac is an old, outdated anti-cheat. Remember that woman streamer who blamed her friend Clara for putting cheats on her PC? That happened in CSGO, and she only got caught due to her own stupidity. These are the Vaxels. They use video clips to prove a wide-reaching conspiracy. Clara. They're using the Clara clip to say everyone's cheating in a video game. Now, if someone that dumb is using cheats, imagine how many po people are using cheats and not getting caught because that are closet cheating. Also, that time that player got caught with Word.exe. I mean, again, it's all the greatest hits. They think a player getting... Like, this is how dumb Vaxels are. They think an Indian player getting caught at a tournament using a cheat, and, and not even a big tournament, like a small Asian regional tournament, they think that proves that professional cheating is widespread. I, I just, uh, Follow the logic, guys. It's obvious Vac is behind the game of cheat devs. And I asked, so to be clear, you think two high-level pros, Kaylee and SF, 10 years ago proves that there's a pervasive cheating problem in the pro scene no <laughs> great talk no i don't think there is a pervasive cheating problem in the pro scene my point was pros were caught cheating so there will always be cheaters even at the highest level less now than before also i do think there is a pervasive cheating problem problem at the top level of matchmaking and at the end of the day the majority player base for these games are the casual player and they don't have anything to lose when it comes to cheating and so i asked so what's your point there wasn't a reply <laughs> just a conversation just starting a conversation oh when richard lewis died did you see that all the comments i got that was fucking weird right well anyway here's another vac cell just to show you how fucking common it always is here's a vac cell uh don't know who this richard is <laughs> but don't say that others need to plug the holes in their argument while you can't string a coherent story. For instance, first you keep saying that nobody cheats and people lose fair games. Later, all of a sudden, cheating is not a CS2 problem, but has been a problem in CSGO too. And I just said, hi, please link me the point in the video where I say this. Didn't get a reply for that one. We had a couple of Vaxels make friends in real time. The Vaxels... Obviously, they're not the most social, but when they when they encounter each other in the wild, you can get these occasionally touching moments. Are you even playing the game? Are you even in a somewhat decent elo? Judging from your statements, I hi highly doubt that. He doesn't play. No, when he did play, he was around 3k elo. Shows how uninformed he is. Well, there we have it. He said, why would I waste my time playing a shit game with a shit community the other day? 3k elo sounds about right. I thought so. Look, I suck at LOL, for example. If I would sit down and make a video about the state of how match fixing in ranked in LOL is great and doesn't suck at all, would any of you take me serious? I guess not, and that makes sense. Why would we listen to a guy who does journalism on the game and debunk the opinions of dedicated players, XD? I know he loves to hate on the score, for example, but at least these guys are playing the damn game being face it level eight plus and having several thousand hours in it uh that wasn't what this video was about uh, but i'm glad you found a fellow vaxel in the comments though we had another vaxel this is the other thing the shill you're a shill for val holy shit you're a psychopath i'm right whoa wow uh knowing you are right about something is not an identifier of psychopathy you do not play you're a mouthpiece for Valve so you can hold on to the breadcrumbs they give you to keep you in line. In reality, you betrayed your profession for access. Yawn. 
Then I link him to a Substack article, the Gonzo Awards, the Riot Games Award, which I gave to Valve for CS2, saying the development of the game is a disgrace. And an article entitled, thanks Valve, but also kind of fuck you too. Why would a mouthpiece for Valve say the things in the above articles? I look forward to your explanation. There was no explanation. We had a time cell, a classic, another classic time cell. A man who doesn't understand that YouTube videos happen in the past. Am I missing something? He says yesterday, but the latest patch note I can see is from last month. Have a think about how linear time works. Well, this was uploaded one day ago, so I would imagine yesterday would be two days ago. If this wasn't recorded at the day of upload, I feel like pointing that out somehow would be a good idea. I also really don't understand why you're being a dick about it. No, tr try again. Look for some contextual clues in the video to help you. Oh, fair enough. Just sort of mentally tune out for the sorts of overlays, because obviously you can see when things are filmed and everything just by looking at the screen. Because uh, I usually do not care for what they're doing. Still weird to me. You're immediately aggressive like this. I don't feel like I've given you much reason for that. Literally nothing aggressive in anything I've said. That's in your brain. Unlike the concept of linear time. Remember when I did that video about Blair? And I said I had a little bit of regret about highlighting that video of that... Um, his uh, 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 analyst partner on the desk uh, having that breakdown. Because... It brought incels, like literal incels, out of the woodwork. And this is just to give you an example of the type of content I had to delete or got caught by filters. She only did that because women treat short men like shit. Honestly, you should have just knocked her bitch ass out. If she wants to be a man, she could fucking learn. Yikes. Like an actual fucking incel. Like, yeah, there was lots of that. Just pure, unadulterated, manlet incel rage. Really sad. But that was why I deleted a lot of comments on that and kind of felt bad about putting the video out. I'm going to get the awkward one out the way. <laughs> Nobody likes this one. I don't know why anyone would essentially simp for groups of people that would kill them, that would destroy them utterly if given a chance. And so I've m mocked and ridiculed queers for palestine because i just don't think queers for palestine is a sent is a serious operation i just think like guys like what are we doing here we, we spend you know all this time you know trying to stop Western entities being influenced by countries that criminalize us. And then one of those countries is uh, is theoretically under threat because of the actions of part of its government. And we go out and we fucking put, wave the rainbow flag, blend it in with a Palestinian flag. This is mental, guys. This is like so crazy. Those people are not going to come and help you. They're not going. Uh, they're not going to go to the execution where someone's getting stoned or tossed off a building and go. Actually, no. They. I know. Well, hold up there. They stood with us. Remember. Remember. Look. The did the flag. Oh, what's that? The rainbow's banned. Sorry, my bad. It, it's silly. It's a silly. It's a silly use of your energy. And uh, while I find it admirable. It's not in your interests. And so I've mocked it. And I've, and I've said that. And I've joked about it and compared it to trees for deforestation. And anyway, somebody called me out on it. Because, of course. And so here it is. Uh, honestly, Richard, you were right about everything except for the Palestine takes. Queers for Palestine is an amazing organization. And I can explain to you why if you are ever interested in actually learning more than Israeli fucking talking points. Because remember, it's me, your favorite Zionist, Shalom. Uh, lol, I'll hop. I'll hop in Discord. Actually, man, like, why not just have a convo with me? I'm a queer Lebanese guy. Huh. Lebanese. Interesting. Uh, I'm in uni in Amsterdam right now. I'm doing a minor in armed conflict studies. I'd be happy to talk to you, man. I really am a fan, bro. Do you think Hamas will reciprocate support for you? No, I don't agree with the ideologies of Hamas. Obviously, you can walk and chew gum, Richard. Instead of these one-liners, why not talk? You haven't answered me. Now, one of the things I always find astounding is 
if people want to talk to you, like, I don't know, make it look like the conversation would be worthwhile. You know what I mean? But, uh-oh. Uh, why would you carry water for a terrorist organization that would happily execute you for who you are? Because I can recognize that the way Gaza has been treated by Netanyahu and his cronies has only led to more radicalization. If you do some research, you can see that Netanyahu propped up a mass in Gaza and used a divide and conquer strategy to split the Palestinians into two political parties, the PA and Hamas. I also understand that the quality of life in Gaza leads to radicalization, constant bombing of civilian targets, no exit, no entry, 2.2 million people in a 25 kilometer by 7 kilometer piece of land. All I can say is if I was born in Gaza in the last 20 years, I would at least think about joining Hamas. There is nothing else to do employment is under 20 percent, especially if i had family members die gaza is a radicalization camp run by netanyahu so to solely blame hamas for this is stupid so yes i can say fuck hamas's ideology while also saying the palestinians have a right to armed resistance while also saying that sovereignty and freedom is the only thing that will de-radicalize them well And I thought I asked a simple question. Clearly, you're still more interested in one-liners than trying to understand my position. Then he replied with the same comment again, just adding, I'm not carrying water for them. And then uh, he goes down here. He goes... There are literal videos of Netanyahu admitting to the divide and conquer strategy. Also, you know, coined the term for the river to the sea, the uh, Likud party in 1977, when they said there will be no Palestine st state from the river to the sea. So I'm trying to be fair and unbiased. Hamas committed atrocities, but they did not happen in a vacuum. Remember when, like, apol apologia for terrorist atrocities was bad? Do you remember that? Remember that? Remember that? They didn't happen in a vacuum. Never heard that one before. He then proceeded to spam that comment, I think, underneath me. All right. Cheers, mate. Fucking hell. I get it. All right. I get it. Oh, wait. <laughs> they didn't happen in a vacuum. Right. Come on, let's fucking mute. Let's get this. Like, oh, we need a fucking beat with this shit. It didn't happen in a vacuum. Ba, 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 ba. It didn't happen in a vacuum. Israel to blame. It didn't happen in a vacuum. Dun, 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 dun. Right? Surely he didn't just keep spamming it. Oh, no, he absolutely did. And then he said, my comments keep on getting deleted. They absolutely don't. I just imagine that there's some sort of filter at the moment regarding Israel-Palestine discourse in YouTube comments, which were a funny video laughing at people for being a bit silly. Anyway, I just said I don't agree with him. He even started substituting Netanyahu, spacing out Gaza. Anyone would get radicalized. And if you understand radicalization, then you can also understand that the way to de-radicalize them is to give back what was taken. Not all the land, just sovereignty and freedom. I hate to break it to you. They're quite explicit in it. In fact, it used to be in the Hamas charter, although they did revise it down, that... Part of the Hamas charter, of course, was we will only accept the complete destruction of Israel. So I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure giving them the, some land will definitely placate them. That's certainly never been tried before. The PALs, meaning Palestinians, have, ha haven't experienced this since 48. So I don't blame them in their short-sighted attempt to gain power. So, okay, you, you don't blame them. You say they were perfectly righteous in what they did. I completely disagree i couldn't disagree more in fact um let's just see though um because it didn't happen in a vacuum right my comments keep getting deleted and i have offered you a convo multiple times you have refused my offer is still open because i don't blame people for their all their beliefs especially the ones that have been prepped in they have been prepped into believing so if you do want to talk to a queer for palestine i'm here oh yeah yeah, yeah, I'm I'm sure I'm the one who's been indoctrinated holding the beliefs that I do. I wonder who indoctrinated me, eh? Uh, none of this freakout explains why you would carry water for an organization that would execute you for who you are. I want you to really think about that reality, because it's clear you haven't. It didn't happen in a vacuum! Right, what was before them then? The PLO, who were secular leftists? 
The reason I hold water for them is because they are a creation of Israel coming back to bite it in the ass. The events on October came from a mile away and was ignored by BB's government. Now BB is to blame uh, for, for not stopping it. <laughs> I carry water for them because they're an armed resistance movement and gaining power is the only way to gain rights and sovereignty. That's from John uh, Mailsheimer. Look him up. An armed resistance movement that was propped up by Israel. An attempt at controlled opposition that backfired. Would you at least like to give me an email we could talk through? My comments keep getting deleted. None of your freak out explains why you won't talk to me in a voice chat. You can record and post it if you like. I don't care. I don't understand how you can support the IDF. So the destruction of Gaza. 80% of the homes have been destroyed. Do you think that is justified? I messaged you on Twitter. My comments are getting deleted here. They also did message me on Twitter, and I just insta-blocked. Uh, this is why, guys, by the way, a lot of people have been going, Richard, I'd love you to talk about Israel and Palestine. You covered the Ukraine-Russia conflict, and, you know, you're, you, you're a level-headed guy, and, you know, sometimes it's nice to get your take on news stories that aren't just, like, video games or tech or esports. So um, if you could... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. It's... it's those trigger words I was talking about earlier in, in the stream, Israel, Palestine's full of them. And I am not interested. I am far from an expert. I am not going to sit down and read thousands of books so fucking Finkeldink will fucking not call me Mr. Luelli. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in it. I just know that October 7th, that's, that is unfortunately a fuck around and find out moment for any country. Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's my opinion. When, and we're at the finding out stage. And the finding out stage can end, release the hostages. That's that. That's it. That's, that, it's not a very sophisticated opinion, I'll admit. But it's my opinion. I am very comfortably putting the blame on Hamas for this. <laughs> and I and I and I sleep like a baby with that opinion. So I don't know, but you know, it didn't happen in a vacuum. Obviously, we then. <laughs> what else? I'm sure I got called a Zionist. I must have been called a Zionist. Yeah, I did. Of course, I did. Shalom. Here I am being called a Zionist from not a weeb. Of course, you're a Zionist. Kill yourself, by the way. Average liberal, moderate fascist. I I don't even know anymore. I don't know. Politically, I don't even know where they're putting me anymore, the crazies online. Uh, I'm right. Wasn't I right wing? I'm not right wing anymore. Uh, but I'm a liberal and, uh, and a fascist. Ah! <laughs> ah! The brain rot of online politics. Just so fucking crazy. So, no, we're not wading into that. Then Richard Lewis died. Rest in peace. And I was thinking, by the way, oh, you know, look, um, this now makes me the most famous Richard Lewis. And therefore, whenever anyone talks about Richard Lewis now, like if I name search, it's going to be me. So like, ah, they're all talking about me again. This is wicked. I sit here steeped in my narcissism. This is fucking brilliant. Love this. Uh, but no, ever since he's died, they're talking about him more. <laughs> Which is like, oh, for fuck's sake. And so everyone's talking about Richard Lewis. And obviously, a lot of people wanted to, you know, pay tribute to him. So I had people on my YouTube channel. I don't even know why you would ever... Bro, who the fuck are you? I'm trying to look up clips of Richard Lewis, the comedian who just died, and I get this fucking shit? Fuck off. That's not even my fault. It's not my fault. We've got the same name. For fuck's sake. Then there was just this one. The wrong Richard Lewis died. That was the same dude. He was so pissed off that he couldn't find clips of Richard Lewis and kept getting clips of me recommended by YouTube. He wanted me to die. It's fucking unreasonable. Like, I suppose this is a good little follow-up from the quiz for Palestine. I had this one. It was, again, talking about, you know, can we protect, you know, gay competitors if they go to Riyadh and that kind of thing. Least based RL video for real. Again, LG TV QHD plus nonsense. I guess that's sort of a little derogatory 
play on words for the LGBTQ plus IA or whatever. By the way, I hope everybody knows, I don't say the fucking stupid long American version. I go LGBT. Once you start adding on letters beyond that, like, you're out, you you know, fuck off. You don't speak for me. Anyway, it just gets silly at that point. You, we lose hearts and minds when you start doing that. So let's just keep it LGBT, by the way. And someone replied with, he's openly bisexual, so it would stand for reason that he would care about the topic. But I think it makes basic sense that people like Moomer, Biofrost, Scarlet should be able to compete without fear for their safety. Stay in the West, then. Oh, cheers. All the welcoming fans. I was just worried about the government. Thanks. That's the that's his point, dipshit. Maybe watch the video before glazing over because something about gay people came up. So that was nice. Just stay in the West. All right. Ah, you will. I also uh, called out the fucking hand cells. Uh, don't know if you remember the hand cells. The hand cells were the people that literally were telling lies about CL right hand zero being an essential command to play Counter Strike. Uh, oh God, there was a, there was an absolute banger actually. Um, I saw a tweet the other day from a hand cell that said the reason your Kindar has uh, dropped off is because he's played CL uh, left hand his entire time i actually saw that uh, someone might be able to find it and post it in the chat i was like wow that's the biggest fucking cope i've ever seen so the hand cells the the hand cells are, are real um but anyway I, I was talking about that i was talking about the hand cells and talking about the sway remember the, the bob cells as well and uh yeah we I, I managed to bait out a fucking bob cell i believe it was or it might have been a hand cell might have been both who knows Lol, old ass motherfucker defending a company that doesn't give a shit about the game, then creating some far-fetched explanation as if Valve care about inconsistencies in their game. Nobody cares how many FPS games you've played that don't have options or not. Because I was saying, like, how do you play it? If you can only play left hand, how do you play any of the other fucking FPS games that don't have a left hand option, which is the overwhelming majority of them? The, le the least a company could do with a new title is bring back basic settings th through because many people play the game due to those settings existing in the first place. I was GM in Overwatch and could not play some of the heroes because the view model sway affected me. All right, sway cells. Uh, I also said I don't like voting. This is also a controversial opinion. You are not supposed to say that. You are supposed to say, vote in every election because it's the most important election. Because if you don't vote in this election, democracy is on the ballot and people will fucking, the right wing will take over and you'll wake up and it'll be the Reich and it'll be a nightmare. You're supposed to say that, I think. But I don't. I think voting is a fucking waste of everyone's fucking time, particularly in countries with two-party systems where they generally seem to work hand in glove with one another when one's in power and one's out of power. Yes, I'm talking about you, America. But anyway, uh, I said in a video, I don't care about voting. I don't think anyone should be compelled to vote. I think opting out is a perfectly valid political opinion and I think it's actually asinine to say you don't get to complain about what governments do because you didn't cast a vote for the opposite government which may very well have been fucking you up the arse in just a different way. They're using a red condom the other party's using a blue condom either way you're not going to be able to sit down for a week so what are we talking about? So the votoids got me the Western propaganda machine melting brains since 1963. Not voting is the worst thing you can do in a time like this. Ah, let me guess. I have some sort of moral obligation to vote for the lesser of two evils. Very productive. Is it not hypocritical to refuse voting and then complain what a mess the system is? Spoiler, it is in no way hypocritical. Of course it isn't. What's hypocritical about saying this system is stupid so I refuse to participate in it? think it through you can try to ignore the system but the system won't ignore you well thanks what is it fucking yakov smirnoff cheers i know you think you're saying something profound but you really aren't why does non-participation in a broken system preclude me from pointing out the system is broken you're not opting out of the system by not voting 
Right, so what are you complaining about? You're only giving up the decision to people who bother to vote and then complain how voting doesn't work. I mean, kind of proves it, no? Dogpiled by the votoids here. The system can only be shown as objectively broken, which we both agree it is, with near full participation. Strange assumption. No, I'm most definitely opting out of the system. Uh, not sure why your brain can't grasp that, but maybe just don't talk to me until it can. Thanks. Uh, and then I replied to that one, saying it's complete nonsense. Most elections have nowhere near full participation. The reason for that, people understand it's a waste of time to begin with. The propaganda is what makes people like you go, every election is the most important election. Vote blue for, vote for blue, evil over red evil, or red evil over blue evil, depending on where you live. For you to call someone brainwashed is hilarious. How are you exactly out of the system when you're paying taxes to fund it and submitting to the rule of law. Edit, I'm not saying you're wrong about the political system being an absolute disgrace, but I just don't see how refusing to vote would help fix anything. Then again, you are utterly blind, but so filled with pride. I'm done with your half-baked takes for engagement. Think it through. And I, repl and I said, says the guy repeating the mantra, you have to vote, it's so important. Protect the very real democracy in which you live. Melted brains indeed. And I replied to the guy saying, well, you're paying taxes and submitting the rule of law. Why don't you just ignore the laws, then, if you're not going to vote? Well, that's a very sophisticated takeaway from the votoids. Hard to believe this is the type of debate people put forward when you say voting is a waste of time. Embarrassing, honestly. Yet still nothing but stones and straw men. I just feel bad for you at this point. All the best. I was, it was literally our, the argument put forward. Regardless, by not voting, you are, in fact, not participating in the system of voting. Feel free to argue to the contrary. Very intelligent. Votoids in the wild now is fucking crazy. Can't even not vote. Like, surely baked into the premise of voting being a, a right and a freedom and th this super important thing is the option to not participate in it. Right? I think it's a waste of time. I have seen no meaningful change across the entirety of my life. I have seen political parties talk a good game and then betray the values of their electorate. I have seen politicians continually self-enrich themselves while pushing austerity measures on the British people. They have done it in red ties, they've done it in blue ties, they've done it in yellow ties. It is all the same shit. So, no, I'm not coming... You know, I'm not coming to the silly little building, going into the silly little booth, putting a silly little X in a silly little box, and then coming home and slapping myself on the back for participating in something where my taxes are still going to go up, my real uh, cost of living is going to go down, my personal freedoms and right of expression are going to be sanctioned or removed. It is all the same. I'm, I'm fine with not participating. If it's so important to you, participate. It is not important to me. Now, we can start getting back to the funny ones. This from Twitch chat unironically asked me, while uh, falcons were being spammed with rainbows back in happier times, Richard Lewis, bro, this whole platform is owned by these people. Why are you singling out falcons? You might as well boycott the scene. Yeah, I'm known, known for not speaking out about anyone else owned by Saudi Never, never, never brought it up. Not once. Then went here. Selective outrage is great. And I replied saying, I d don't single out Falcons. I'm against the SL and face it too. And I'm against any entity that would persecute gay people or women or anything else. I got timed out for that statement on the ESL chat, by the way. That was deemed to be political. I made it political. I got timed out. The, the guys spamming homophobic abuse didn't get timed out. Well, great job, e ESL. He uh, ended it by saying, So go at ESL and face it. Never done that, of course. Struggle to find content of me doing that. Oh, another, another Valve shill here. Another Valve shill. R. Lewis is officially out of his mind. Biggest Valve shill I've seen so far. I linked him to the articles criticizing Valve. You're still trying to tell a player base rampant, out of proportion cheating does not exist. Correct. Good for you. Am I shilling for Valve in those articles? Yes or no? Je the gentleman above me answered your question. He didn't. Am I shilling for Valve in those articles? 
Yes or no? Why are you trying to appeal to your previous statements? Laughing my ass off. Yeah, dude went full schizo. X did it. I think you need to ask this question one more time to your wall. Am I shilling for Valve in those articles? Yes or no? They didn't reply to that one. Oh, I said the word schadenfreude. And I'm pretty sure it is pronounced schadenfreude. I hear a lot of people say schadenfreude, but I think it, you pronounce the E, right? Uh, that's how I've always said it anyway. And this upset a German. I pronounced it correctly and pointed out that people pronounce it wrong. And he left this. Of course it's schadenfreude. Don't steal our words if you can't pronounce it, you English fuck. Jesus. Trying to raise awareness. We had another, but what about the US? What about the UK? We had, we had plenty of that, obviously. And see it? So you say only EU and USA countries can do it, but we can't? Cry harder. Can you show me an esports event run by the US or any European country's government? All of them have partnerships with Gov support, like ESL, DreamHack, or Regional League's Riot Games events, face it. Okay. Can you show me an event where the government specifically runs the event, as is the case with ESL, Gamers 8, etc.? My point is clear. You can't run any tournament without Gov accepted. And also, USA has been spraying their agenda on games and movies like LGBTQ+. It's your boy, Globo Homo! woo 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 Globo Homo's back! They've been spraying their agenda on games and movies like LGBTQ+, when you can't win award for your game or your movie if there is no gay on it. What is that? You guys talking about Saudi agenda when you have a lot to explain, like allowing underage to CT their pines or CT girls' breasts. How do you allow that? He misspelled penis, didn't he? It's cool that you're frothing at the mouth and everything, but can you show me where either a US or EU government specifically runs an event, as is the case with the ESL or Gamers 8? He couldn't. He didn't reply. <laughs> I pointed out in a video that all the people who voted for Joe Biden that got laid off in the games industry, if Bidenomics is so good, which you all tweet about and say is true, you'll get another job in no time at all. Don't worry about it. Why, why are you even crying on Twitter? I wouldn't even tweet me if I got laid off and voted for Joe Biden because Bidenomics is perfect, right? So I, I'm walking into a job tomorrow. No point in getting upset about it, right? So anyway, yeah, you just learned the code. Tons of jobs. Your content is good, but you keep bringing up dumb political points that just show you're not American. So you don't understand how shit works here. You understand why these people are laid off, yet you bring up Biden economics for no reason. You see, the economy and the jobs market aren't linked when you talk about Joe Biden. It's amazing. Oh, except when it is. When he says, uh, we've created more jobs than any other president, and they're all fucking COVID bounce back jobs. But don't think too much about it. Yeah, it's Bidenomics, baby. It's the same shit as Fox News and all those dumb conservative talk heads. I literally lived in the US. I've been writing about US politics for longer than esports. Are you really trying to argue that the economy has nothing to do with the layoffs? Do you think that? Do you think it's crazy of me to say that the people crying about losing their jobs, they should be fine to walk into another job since Bidenomics has been such a success when it comes to job creation? Just admit you vote blue. So if someone criticizes Pope Biden, you're going to get upset. Didn't reply. Had this as well. No, oh, this was a weird one. Bro, you kept throwing America under the bus, but said nothing about the, the UK. Not a butthurt American, by the way. I come from a different country that hasn't gave anything positive to the world in the last 40 years or so. So hang on, right? Enough about Sweden. <laughs> Eat my ass. Right, anyway... Like, this video was about, um, I, I just said, like, listen, you know, America have done these, like, terrible things. So should I not be allowed, you know, if you're an American, should we ban America from esports events? Because the American government's invaded sovereign countries illegally, right? Like, that's, you know, because we're doing it for some other countries, aren't we? And anyway, so I just pointed that out. And I said, could that be because, in this context, the U.S. matters more in the world of esports? Have a think and then reply. I genuinely don't know if the US matters more to esports than the UK, to be honest. <laughs> what? 
I don't really have many opinions about esport orgs and nation nations' impacts on them, as I just know very little about it other than what I hear on your channel, pretty much. I guess I understand that you meant the US has a huge negative impact on the world outside of esports, as you said, Iraq war, Afghanistan, etc., etc., which, by the way, 110% you are right about, or at least I agree with you on. I just think Europe and especially the UK, France and Germany has done tremendous damage globally, potentially more than the US. Maybe not in the last 10 years. Then, anyway, I'm not much of a writer and I'm a bit sorry for the puke of a paragraph I wrote for you. I'm generally surprised I even got a reply by the Lewis guy himself. Still, was a good upload, and thanks for being the only, I'm also pulling this out my ass, as I don't know every content major creator, esports journalist, to at least tackle these topics from the rougher angles that you do. Heart emoji. And I just told him, like, obviously the US is more important to the UK because it's a bigger market. But he was, a, he, was a nice, he was a nice moron, so it's fine. Good job. It's good to be the Lewis guy. So obviously as well, I did a video before I went away to the major where I was debunking, you know, uh, Loba and the bullshit he's told. I made a video about it, got 50,000 views, 60,000 views, more than usual. Uh, he was fucking livid about it. He was molding, I believe is the technical term. Uh, he was certainly mad, bad, and balding all at once. And he watched the video and then attempted to debunk things even though they were in black and white in front of him and all had, and the receipts were all there. And then when he tried to debunk the things that I had the receipts for, rather than debunk them, he would just say, like, oh, I did do the bad thing, but what's wrong with the bad thing? And the bad thing included being sexually inappropriate with a female member of Imperial Management. The real reason why he was ultimately cut from his job. Nothing to do with fatty and ratty talking on by the numbers, like he said. But anyway, he watched the video back in his chat, and his chat started to try and do these weird little fucking operations and the chat are obviously loba fans so you know what loba fans are like they are fucking i mean like literally if vac cells are operating on like let's be genuine generous and say 90 iq and then you've got you know you've got yeah no nah, it's 80 to 90 i mean uh, the low the loba fan is i mean i i don't know if 70 is possible for most people but so anyway i was getting harassed and uh, what they were doing was you can see here they first were like clicking on my account and like finding who were subscribers to, to me and stuff and you can see i hate liars he needs this is it this is the this is the fucking he needs to be persecuted for what he does for what like just taking publicly available information and putting it on a stream I know. Bit weird. And then part of that persecution was they went onto my Wikipedia page and they created a personal life section and put in there that I was like a virgin, which got deleted in like two minutes. And that's one of Loba's like mods, VIP people. And they're like, kek, 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 kek. Yes, he is sexually frustrated. Kek. Kek, kek, kek. You know what's more banter than that? Proving that you were sexually inappropriate with a woman at the only org that was willing to give you a chance to be a pro player. And that's why you got kicked. And knowing that you can cry all you want, but you're never going to get to be a pro player. You blew your one chance by being a fucking weirdo. And eventually, when CS2 gets to, like, a really good state in about a year from now, you're going to be remembered as the arsehole who said it could never happen, and you're going to come slithering back. So, enjoy. There it is. That was You Speak Your Brain.